Hey everyone, my name is Patrick and I'm the training manager here at OneLogin. And today I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Apps Directory in OneLogin. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is log in to OneLogin. Then we're going to head up to Users and then Directories. You're going to choose Google Apps as your directory and then you're going to give it a name. So I'm going to keep this simple and unimaginative and call it Google Apps Directory. And now I need to choose where to authenticate my users in. Now, if you want to use Google as your directory and your source of truth, then you should authenticate in Google. If you want to use OneLogin as your source of truth, then choose OneLogin. I'm going to choose Google. Next, I need to enable Google Apps as our user directory and also type in the domain. Now, if I had any subdomains, I could check this box and include those subdomains, but because I do not, I will not. Now we have some options here for what we'd like to have happen when we import users. The first option here is enable mappings. So mappings are just logic with corresponding actions or just actions. And we can use mappings to assign groups and roles, as it says right here. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do is use a mapping to assign a general access role to my users, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Now, real-time updates is the second option here. I'm also going to leave this enabled. Real-time updates will ensure that when I create new users or make updates to users, that it syncs over to one login seamlessly and in real time. The exception here is Google Groups do not sync over in real time unless another change to a user's attribute is made at the same time as that group membership change. The last option here, sync user status from Google, is something that I'm going to enable as well. What this does is it ensures that if I have some users that are disabled in Google and some users that are enabled, they come over with the correct status in one login. Now you can also use mappings to dynamically set who is enabled and who is disabled. So that's another option in addition to syncing user status. All right, the last option we need to decide on is what we'd like to have happen in one login when we delete users in Google. Now, because Google is my source of truth, I'm going to choose to delete users when I delete them in Google. Now, the thing to remember here is whether or not you choose deleted or suspended, either of those two options will free up a license in one login. All right, I'm gonna choose save now. And now I have the option to authorize over the API with Google, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to allow that connection. All right, now that I have created an API connection with Google, what I'm gonna do here is go to directory attributes, and I'm going to map the Google group membership field to a custom field I already created in one login called distribution lists. So I'm going to click on add attribute and I'm gonna scroll down here to groups and then map it to distribution lists. And now I'm going to click on save. And this is simple enough, it just ensures that when groups come in from Google, they go to a custom field I have already created called distribution lists. All right, now before we synchronize my users, what I'm gonna do is create a mapping based off of that field. So I'm gonna to go to users and then mappings. And I'm going to create a new mapping. And I'm going to call this mapping general access. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, based off of the distribution list, if it contains, and here's the thing, I've created a, a Google group called Company News. And let me just scoot on over to my admin panel to show you. So this is my Google group, Company News at OneLogIn-Training.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mapping, right, an automation based off of who is in this group. So if we scoot on back, I'm gonna say if the distribution list contains company 
news, which it will for those two users that I just showed you, then I'm going to set the role of these users to general access. Now, I have three users, okay? I'm using company news here as a, if you're enabled, if you're an enabled user, you're in the company news distribution list. If you're a suspended user, then I've taken you out of that list. And because I've taken you out of that list, that will ensure that you don't get this role set to you in one login. So when you are synchronized over and disabled users come over, they are not going to be associated with any kind of applications. So I will click on save now. And it's really important that you always reapply your mappings when you make changes to mappings or create new mappings. So I'm going to click on reapply all mappings and then continue. If you have a lot of mappings, this could take a little bit of time, but I only have a couple mappings and actually most of them are disabled, so it won't take any time at all. Now I need to go to users and then back to directories. And it's time to synchronize my users. So I'm gonna click on sync users. So you can see it says at the top, users are being imported in the background, check your activity tab. So what I'm gonna do here is go to events and I'm gonna refresh. And you can see that it started and finished. Once again, very fast, I'm only synchronizing three users over. So we'll go to users now and all users. All right, so we've imported three users, Susie, Taro, and Training.org, which is the Google Apps admin account. And I am logged in as the account owner, which is a local account, the one login admin. So as you can see, we have assigned the general access role to two users. And remember, we did that with that mapping. Let's take a look at Susie and see why Susie wasn't assigned the general access role. As you can see, Susie is disabled. Susie was disabled in Google. And because we synchronized Susie's status over to one login, she's disabled in one login now as well. Now, if we look down to custom fields, we can see that in the distribution list column, remember that's the field that I mapped, Google group membership to distribution list in one login, you can see that company news is not there. Another Google group is security alert, but company news is not present. And what we did was we said, if you have company news, we will assign general access. And because Susie doesn't have that group membership in Google Apps, then Susie was not assigned the role general access. So if we go back and take a look at one of the other users like Taro or training org, let's take a look at Taro. You can see that Taro is enabled. If we click on show custom attributes, you can see that Taro is a part of the company news Google group membership. And because that user is a part of that membership, that user was assigned the general access role. So let's take a look now at applications. So if we click on applications, you can see that the general access role was assigned via a mapping and cannot be removed manually. So now if you wanted to remove this role from this user, you would need to either one, disable the mapping or two, change the criteria in the mapping. And that would then remove it from this user and from your other user as well. At this point, I want to thank you for watching. Let us know how you liked the video on our YouTube page. If you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team by going to support.onelogin.com. In addition, please continue to check out our awesome help center for up-to-date information on new features and all you need to know to use OneLogin.